Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancers and Moon Rising and Venus. I do want to apologize. I know that we are a bit behind on our readings, but it's just been crazy, crazy, as you guys can imagine, with everything that's going on globally, as well as being extremely busy for all of you guys that have reached out to me. So I also do want to mention, please be patient when it comes to responding to your emails. I am doing the best I can to respond to everyone, but we're getting thousands of messages and I don't go through my email on everyday basis. So we've been um, experiencing a lot, a lot of delays when it comes to emails. I want to apologize. Again, like I said, um, primarily my focus at the moment uh, or I should say in the past was making sure that all my family and everyone was well taken care of with this pandemic that's going on. So with that being said, let's get into your reading cancer. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the month of May 2020. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month. Okay, Cancer in regards to your finances and business you have the six of swords so a lot of you guys uh, being able to pull away perhaps from a standstill type of situation others of you there's been a bit of lack of movement in regards to the finances uh, it could be because some of you guys are experiencing like being laid off or not being able to find a job uh, but with the Six of Swords, what Spirit is saying here is that quickly things will turn around for the best for you. You are going towards calmer waters or calmer, um, more concrete uh, type of uh, situation or environment in regards to your business and finances. For some of you guys, it could be that you actually get a proposal that comes through. For others of you, it could just signify going back to work, being able to uh, go back to something that uh, there was lack of. So again, if you have like one of you guys out there is currently experiencing um, like having some time off because you were considered non-essential worker or something like that, I do see some of you guys going back to that um, or being able to stabilize your finances because there's some type of return coming in, um, whether it be returning back to work for others of you, whether it be getting hired on or being able to start a new venture that is definitely going to help you in bringing more finances to uh, your home, okay? All right, so in regards to communication with the element of air, you have the Ace of Wands. Being very inspired, Cancer. Um, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are very connected to like your creative outlook, uh, if you guys do this professionally, I definitely see you guys extremely inspired. Um, even getting like thoughts and ideas of like uh, new poetry um, uh, for some of you those of you guys that are writers being very inspired um, for those of you guys that um, write music all of this I think that what they're saying here is use this uh, experience that we're currently all experiencing on a global scale to really tap into your creative outlook because uh, through the most difficult and trialing times is where our masterpiece comes from. So that's what they're saying. Not sure what that means to you guys, but uh, for those of you guys, like I said, that are connected to your creativity, definitely tap into that because I see you guys extremely inspired for others of you getting random ideas that are definitely going to help you and could potentially bring more business or more money to you. Uh, so definitely good thing. Now, for those of you guys... Um, that are currently dealing with fire energy, whether it be in Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, I see communication flowing very organically. For others of you, I definitely do see a new beginning coming through, a new opportunity. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be a new opportunity uh, that comes through, whether it's like quick communication. So it could be like through text, it could be through social media, uh, but I see it more as like a potential uh, to bring some type of income to you. So it could be, um, not necessarily, although it could be in a job offering for others of you, it could just represent like um, some type of collaboration, some type of new inspiration coming through. But I see it at, like I see it coming in in a two. So it could represent like joining forces with someone or for a cause or something that you're very passionate about. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Now, in regards to 
your obstacle to overcome for this month is the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, I don't really necessarily see this as an obstacle. Uh, the only obstacle that could carry the Ten of Cups is being very resistant when it comes to connecting with family or the family dynamic. So what I mean by that is if at some point uh, there was some type of miscommunication or lack of communication, perhaps there was a falling out with a friend or a relative, someone that was in your family dynamic. Um, I definitely see this as the universe giving you the opportunity or putting you in a situation where you have the opportunity to mend the fences, to really get like get what you have in your heart to actually let it out, to actually express how this person made you feel or how you felt about a specific situation where this falling off happened. And I definitely see that coming like arising, but it's up to you to rise to the occasion, Cancer. Can you put your pride aside? Um, can you put your ego aside and speak your truth? Even if it means like having to apologize, even if you felt you were wronged, um, in a situation or if you felt like they were judging you too harshly. Um, but more than anything, I feel that, you know, what spirit is telling you here is, are you really willing to burn that bridge and completely dismiss this person or completely like disconnect from the situation? Or are you willing to mend the fences, even if it comes at a cost of having to apologize? Um, what Spirit is telling you is that by apologizing sometimes, uh, what keeps us from apologizing, I mean, sometimes could be uh, our ego. And once we get that I'm sorry out there, perhaps they will reciprocate in an extremely positive or extremely, it even throws you aback, how they open up and tell you like, I'm sorry, you know, and they take the responsibility that you were waiting for them to do and they just wouldn't do. So again, um, keep that in mind, okay? All right, so finally, in regards to your love and romance, you have the full card. Wow, beautiful cards, Cancer. With the full card in regards to love and romance, I see you guys going towards a new venture, a new journey. For some of you guys, it could be reconnecting from, uh, not from, sorry, to a person from your past, uh, reconnecting in the sense of, I see you guys like still in communication, but perhaps things didn't take flight the way you expected or the way you want it. But I see you guys having another go at it. Like the universe is conspiring to bring you guys together to be able to see if you guys can get on the same common ground. Um, with the full card could also represent for some of you guys, it could represent like being able to get to a point of uh, either like renewing vows or taking it, um, like renewing something in that relationship, whether it be like there was uh, perhaps complacency on both sides and both of you guys really taking the initiative for this month of May to really keep the romance going or to con to continue keep, uh, keeping the passion ignited. Um, definitely very strong cards. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do want to put out there with the six of wands, I see you guys moving towards a new beginning with the ace of uh, wants a new passion that's coming in that is going to bring you the emotional fulfillment or emotional stability you've been looking for. But what spirit is telling you here with the full card, are you willing to throw yourself and take that leap of faith? Or are you going to continuously keep being uh, very precautious and very methodical in the decisions when it comes to giving people the opportunity. So basically what they're telling you here, Cancer, is are you going to be spontaneous and keep an open heart and an open mind? Or are you going to be stuck in the mud and let this new opportunity pass you by? All right. And what Spirit's advice here for you is victory. So the victory card signifies being able to uh, get to a point of complacency, not complacency, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying complacency. Uh, getting to the point of feeling like you've achieved or you have were able to attain that goal or that aspiration, that determination, that desire you wanted to manifest finally coming through for you. For some of you guys, it could be the relationship you've always wanted being able to manifest for you. Again, are you willing to take that opportunity or are you going to be very cautious and uh, perhaps even... Uh, almost I'm getting the vibe of the hermit. So even like being the hermit and letting this opportunity pass you by, or are you willing to jump and take a leap of faith? At the end of the day, it is up to you what you make this life um, cancer. Whatever life you decide to take, it is up to you. 
You always have that power. Remember that. You will get to the point of feeling like you're victorious or you're able to achieve what your aspiration or what your heart's desire has always wanted, whether it was to formalize a relationship that is currently in place and taking it to the point of either commitment or some type of engagement, or for those of you guys that are single, wanting to cement a long-term committed relationship. Regardless, victory is yours, my darling cancers. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. I hope you guys are staying safe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.